A Delaware County man could soon be facing charges after 40 dogs were seized from his property over the weekend. Now the dog warden is addressing the media for the first time since a video went viral on social media. NBC4's Jackie Gillis joins us now. Jackie, the warden says this owner has been on his radar since 2020. So why is that? Yeah, Carrie and Colleen, Mitchell Garrett, the dog warden, says he's received multiple reports about animal care conditions. At the shelter's first visit to the property, they observed six dogs outside. Reports kept coming in, but after the ninth visit to the property, the man's attorney said any future conversations would need a court order, which Mitchell got on Friday. We have veterinary staff looking over each one of them, giving the, the proper medications, the vaccines, taking care of any of the, the injuries that might be there. The dogs, believed to be pit bulls and pit bull mixes, were rescued from a property on Kilbourne Road Sunday afternoon. The dogs were all living outside, as you've seen in the pictures. We had a lot of rain recently, so everything was wet. There was just mud and water everywhere. Despite rumors circulating online, Garrett says there was no evidence of dog fighting. Right now, all 40 dogs are being cared for. He says it doesn't appear that any of them are underweight. We were looking at a lot of 30 to 35 pound dogs that should probably be about 40 pounds. So while they weren't being, you know, up there, they weren't, you know, down in the dumps. Mercy Dopp, the founder and director of Rico Pet Recovery, says it helped with the recovery efforts. They're coordinating with Garrett to make sure the dogs have everything they need. There was really no place for them to go or lay down that wasn't in a cold puddle of water. You know, how long has that been going on, right? It's, 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 that's the, the sad part. You know, the, the happy part is, is that they're not there anymore. Garrett couldn't comment on specifics due to the ongoing investigation, but he says the prosecutor intends to file charges and they're working to figure out exactly what those charges will be.